Okay, I made a, uh, like a Kova shield for my car, and a lot of people have been really interested in it in uh, our Facebook group of rideshare drivers, so I thought I would show you this thing and go through a little bit of what was involved, what I used, and how I put it together. First of all, uh, you can hardly see it, but this, yeah, you can see my reflection in it when I get, when I move over this way. But what this is, is it's 36 inches by 48 inch uh, plexiglass. And it's really almost hard to see it unless you know it's there. Uh, what I've done is I've taken a cardboard cutout and I put the cardboard and cut out the contour of my roof out of the uh, plexiglass here. And then from there, uh, I marked it onto the plexiglass and cut the plexiglass on a, uh, uh, what do you call it, like a, a jigsaw type thing, a scroll saw is what I used. Uh, I didn't have the right blade for my jigsaw. And then from there, I just taped in all the edges uh, as best I could. And then on the bottom, uh, I'm using plastic, but I need to put another piece of plastic because this just hits the floor. And what I want to do is I want to tape on some more plastic over top of that that goes all the way across and has about three feet and it can go underneath the uh, floor mats. Problem is people kick their feet under the seats and stuff like that. So you can't really go all the way to the floor with the plexiglass. Now how I mounted the plexiglass is by taking uh, zip ties, really long zip ties, and I mounted it to my... Uh, seat backs right there the uh you know the headrests and what you want to do is you want to drill your holes low on this so that it doesn't sag and then just kind of pulls and holds it up towards the ceiling and you do it on both sides you drill a hole here a hole here and you know same on the other side and then in addition to that you can't really see it but i've got a zip tie on the bottom or else this thing would hang back here quite a ways. So I zip tied it to the bottom of the seats to hold it in. So from there, uh, basically that's just about it. Uh, a couple of things that I want to say, this uh, plexiglass I got at Home Depot, it is 36 by 48 inches and 0 0.093 thickness. It was about $47, I want to say. And then for the tape, I used uh, Gorilla Tape that's clear. Now, uh, because my roof doesn't stick as well as I'd like it to, and then like overnight, the tape will come off a little bit on the roof. A couple of spots, there's one right there where it's come back. So I only had one roll of this, it's like 27 feet and it's like $9 a roll. So what I've done is I've bought uh, two more rolls and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna extend that back to several inches so that it's sticking real good and then i'm going to check it every uh few hours and make sure that the stickiness hasn't come off there's absolutely at this point the only thing that can get through air wise is what comes underneath this plastic when i put that additional piece of plastic that i'm talking about that goes underneath the floor mats then there will will be no air to the front uh i've had just one passenger since i put this in because I was headed home from like way far away and I set a destination filter and I couldn't even hear the passenger in their conversation that they were having on the phone. So you're really sealed off with this. And if you feel like making it, uh, please leave a comment down below and let me know how it turned out for you. And I uh, hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it's been helpful in making one of these for yourself. And your car works great in a taxi cab, ride share, whatever. And it gives you a little bit of protection along with your uh, face mask. So thank you for watching and uh, take care.